Hey guys, it's me and Amelia back with another video. So I wanted to talk about one of the Bible verses, one of these Bible verses um, of Yeshua, Jesus talking about um, regarding the Ten Commandments. Somebody said that it didn't really matter, but I wanted to see what the Bible had to say about it. Um, because, you know, when God, when Jesus died on the cross for our sins, that law was written in our hearts. So we don't do it out of um, fear or out of, um, oh, okay, if I do this, I will, you know, I'll get into heaven type thing. Like, no, we do it out of obedience and out of love and out of the respect because of, you know, his sacrifice to us. He created us. He made us, okay? And there's a lot of things in this, this Bible that God wants to show us and he wants to tell us. But are we listening? Or are we just trying to go based upon our own flesh and our own feelings and our own emotions? And we're just listening to preachers and pra uh, pastors and YouTubers that, um, that we look up to. But we're not looking up to our creator and what his word says. And that's more important than what anybody else has to say or how you feel. Because at the end of the day, when you love somebody, you want to abide by them and you want to do right by them. Right? Because if somebody loves you, they're going to want to abide by you and do right by you as well and listen to you. So, um, if you guys want to go with me, I'm going to Matthew chapter 5. Um, go to 17. And let's read it together. I am in the New King James Version. All right. Do not think that I came to destroy the law or the prophets. I did not come to destroy but to fulfill. For surely I say to you, till heaven and earth pass away, one jot or one tittle will by no means pass from the law till all is fulfilled. Whoever therefore breaks one of the least of the commandments and teaches men so shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever does and teaches them, he shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. For I say to you that unless your righteousness exceeds the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, you will by no means enter the kingdom of heaven. So Jesus here is saying, don't teach against the Ten Commandments because, you know, he's come to fulfill it. Like if you're saying, oh, it don't matter if you, um, if you go steal your neighbor's, you know, your neighbor's uh, lawnmower. It don't matter if, you know, if you covet and whatever, it's just normal. Like, no, yeah, we, we try not to do those things because we already know it's wrong. Like we know by nature and what God has written in our hearts is wrong. But what about the Sabbath day? He says, remember it. Why would he say remember it? Because we knew we, we would forget. And you got to understand that um, there's so much more to this that is just so much to talk about right now. And I'm still learning myself. I'm still learning so much and trying to come to an understanding. Um, but there's so much hidden um, secrets in the word of God. If you just humble yourself and ask him instead of listening to what you've been taught all your life, but really asking him, God, what does this mean? Like, I don't understand. He's written this on our hearts and the Sabbath day keeps separates us from the rest of the world. And we're still going to celebrate it when we go into the new earth and a new heaven. We're still going to keep the Sabbath. And that's like a whole nother topic that, you know, got to do a study on. But it's just brilliant to me that he doesn't say... He doesn't say stop teaching it. He says if you if you tell people to not do it or to teach people to uh, disobey it, you know, that's not a good thing. But if you're teaching people to keep it, he says, whoever therefore breaks the least of the commandments and teaches men so shall be called the least of the kingdom of heaven. But whoever does and teaches them, he shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. I mean, how much more clear is that? If you don't understand that, I don't know what to say. But I just hope that this video encouraged you to, you know, read the word of God more for yourself and not 
um, just listening to anybody or what anybody has to say because God has the last word. His word is in this Bible. So um, comment down below. Uh, let's talk about this Bible verse. What do you guys feel about it? What's your take on it? And I hope you guys have a blessed day.